Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Pickle Designs. If you'd like to see what I made from this month's bargain bead box, then just keep on watching. First off, I have this nylon cord knotted bracelet using the faceted gemstones and some of the smooth rounds. I used some black seed beads, some nylon cording, and this thistle button for the closure. So this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on. It's very sweet. It's very, um, feels very secure as well. You can put it up top if you want to show off that thistle button. And there's the first bracelet. Next up, I'm going to show some earrings. First pair are using those faceted gemstones. I made some wire wrap cones and I used some pearls. And I made those ear wires myself. It's the first pair. Second pair, I used the faceted barrel beads with some of those green beads that I loved. And I did a smaller little bead cone on either side. And then I did a little daisy spacer at the bottom for some flare. Third pair is I was really loving playing with these cones. They remind me of like little uh, gnomes. These are some long cone pearl earrings here and I put this is a Swarovski bicone on the top but that's because I didn't get the bicones from the box so just use the bicones from the box if you had them those are pretty simple as well and I love these these are super simple but some more of those faceted gemstone beads with a nice long cone and some of that electroplated hematite Next up for the cones are these green ones. I used the electroplated hematite. I just played with the sizing on these. It's the same technique though. And I really love those. I think they're so fun. Um, one offs here. I used some chain for these cuties. And I used that gold component along with one of the little turquoise drop faceted crystal beads. And I just use a little bead cap from my stash on the bottom just to give it a little cute little flare. And this is what they look like together. Super cute and dainty. Um, let's see, the first set we should go into is this right here. Oh, and these earrings, I forgot, these actually match this um, necklace here. And this is a long necklace, let's zoom out. I'll put these earrings off to the side. And this is a long necklace with no clasp. And I used some of that chain. And I just made a dangle here. And I'll zoom in on the dangle, but it's just using those barrel crystals, some spacers, and some wire wrap cones that I made along with one of those green beads to tie that green color to the bottom. And then I used the same length of chain for all these and I made the components. So we'll zoom in and I'll let you look at the components. So I handmade each of these little wire cones and then just connected them with chain that was from the box. And it was hard to match that chain. I don't think it looks too bad or anything, but it was really hard to match that chain. That chain was super yellow. Not, not wasn't a huge fan of that yellow color, but I think this turned out pretty nice. And again, these earrings match it. So you got a sneak peek of that design. So this is a, a pretty long necklace and it'll hang about right above your belly button. So that's the first little set here. Let's take a look at, let's do this one. This one's a nice, cute little soft flex. You can see the soft flex up top. It's a black soft flex. And just made these little components down here at the bottom using the little chevron beads. I loved those, those were so cute. And I had a bunch of those pearls left over so I wanted to use those. And when it hangs on your chest, they hang correctly. So they're not flared or anything. So it, it'll hang correctly on the chest like this. And then it's kind of like a free floating uh, bead situation in the back, which I love because we want to show off that soft flex wire. I just added an extension chain because it's probably like a 16 inch necklace and some people like their necklaces a little bit longer. But to match this set, 
I brought in these earrings I made and it's just using that same component that we found on the bottom right there added a pearl and one of those electroplated beads as you can see here so that is the second set the third set I have is this necklace right here I'll zoom in on the bottom here so you can see these little components. Um, I added some of the Rolo beads or Rolla beads from Preciosa, which I've been loving. I like those, the chunky look to that. But I used a brushed gold and black. And at the bottom here, I took some of those turquoise beads and I made like little wire wrapped hourglasses. And I made the little graduated pendant situation down here. I did add a rhinestone spacer down here just to give it a little bit of sparkle. And I used the clasp from the box right here. So that's what this one looks like. For the matching earrings, I did bring in a black rhinestone ball just to tie in the little rhinestone AB here down at the bottom of the necklace just to give it just a teeny bit of sparkle. And I kept this one simple just because the pendant situation down here is so involved. I kind of wanted that to be the start of the show. So that is the third set. And the last and final set is this. I'll zoom you out. It's this. It's probably a 20 inch, 22 inch necklace. And it's just a knotted um, Eslon. So I use this eggplant color to kind of complement the colors that you'll find in here. I didn't want to use black. Um, so I brought a toggle from my stash and I used Rolla beads. But other than that, um, everything else is, well, except for these. So these were actually silver stardust beads and they actually tarnished. So it was like a perfect color for this necklace. So I know that the metal here in terms of the beads is already tarnished. So that's the color that it's going to be. Um, so I took the rest of my chevron beads here and I just kind of uh, did the um, pairs or trios throughout. And I just repeated the same pattern. This dangle down here I just created with one of the star or two of the stardust beads and that last barrel bead that I had along with the pendant that came with the box. And yeah, I really like this one. It's very um, soft and movable and it hangs... Um, around the sternum area so to match these I made I took those the two other little pendants that match the large one down here and I made these earrings I only had two um, or four chevron beads left so I just kind of had to make do with two on the earrings but that's okay I think it's still it'll still give the same effect and again I use those bicones up top but in your box, you'll have the metal bicones, and you can just use those if that's what you'd like, if you would like to replicate that. So yeah, I made, I think, four sets, and then I made, let me see, oh my gosh, at least five or six pair of earrings and a bracelet, and I still had all of these beads left over. These are going to be donated. Um, it's just, uh, they're just more for craft beads to me, not really for jewelry. Um, I did have one faceted gemstone, one smooth gemstone, one electroplated hematite, one chevron bead left. I had a bunch of these green ones, but I did this on purpose because I want to make something uh, for me with these green ones because I really like these. Um, and I kind of want to take it in a different direction. And then I had the rest of these um, components left. So I have a good 16, 18 inches of chain left in that super yellow gold. I still have the filigree um, pendant here and I have, you will only have two, but I have four of these little puffed filigree pendants here, which I, I, I think I will use those, but I just didn't have anything that I wanted to use them with. So, and then I did have two of these left over, but that's it. That's all I had left over from this month's box. So I'm gonna bring everything out and we'll just take one last look. All right, so here's what I made with the bargain bead box for this month. I got four sets of jewelry, a handful of earrings, and a bracelet. Um, 
so yeah i mean it took me four or five days so i definitely got my 20 i think it's like 20 dollars is this box how much that's cost? how much it costs so definitely got my 20 dollars worth here so let me know down below what you've made with your bargain bead box if you liked it this month and if you liked anything you saw here let me know which one was your favorite let me know which one was your least favorite and go ahead and make sure you're subscribed so i'd love to keep you around um, until the next one, guys, I hope you are staying safe and well, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.